You don't have to learn the lines. Thank it's always God. a good idea if you read them, though, isn't it? So you, you, you had the... You was that a barbed joke? No. <laughs> this is okay. He knows I never read them. It's, it's, not, it's not a barb against you, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, you sit there and you, you read them and you put all the acting into that and it's all about the audio and the voice. But it must be difficult for you as actors because you do the job and then you stop. And you might do, you know, in, uh, in the case of, you know, doing Dark Eyes, for example, you've done four days in a studio recently yeah. for Dark Eyes 2 yeah. and you go back and do another four days for Dark Eyes 3 but then you don't do anything for practically a year if you see what I mean. Well that's the work isn't it? That's what we... and it's the same if you do television or movies you know you... I'm sorry, an angel just got his wings. I, <laughs> I turned it on to vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same you... You do your little thing, and then it could be a year or more before it appears. So. Well, you, see, you just get used to that. Yeah. But as actors, do you find it's... Um, this is a, just a general question. Do you find it's odd you can't sometimes place things? I find that with myself in the stuff that I do. I can't place in terms of time when I did things. So I think some things were done last week. Like, for example, with Mel Knight. Because you're so constantly asked about that, I'm sure. Is that yeah. something you feel like you did yesterday? Yeah, maybe five years ago, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yet, how yeah. long ago is that now? Oh, maybe 30 years ago. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't place it in the time. And with those audios, I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Mm. They, they all sort of merge into... I know, I know the answer to this. Right? Tell, pray tell. Book. Oh, sage. Ah! Then, That's that it. is really the big test. You write a book about yourself. It's mm. gross. And and I I swear to God I didn't I was like I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Does that involve Googling? Yourself? And so no, what I didn't say was IMDb. <laughs> Thank God for IMDb. And I remembered things about my life because when I was shooting that show, my daughter came to visit and I know she was this big. And I was like, oh yeah, well, that's the time when and we had oh we had you know Halloween while we were in. Santa Cruz or whatever, all these weird little yeah. stories are coming back to you. That's how I needed it together, but without IMDb, forget about it. No way. No way. Because these are memories you don't even need to remember. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But so, I'm sorry, can we just get this clear? Have you written a book, Daphne? And I is wrote it on you. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, yes, it's called Dead Woman Laughing. And it'll be on my table all weekend. <laughs> no, it's supposed to make you laugh. But yeah, no, it really is. It's weird how I am to be can save your, you know, funds. Brings back the whole thing. It's weird. Is it, do, do you know if it's, is, is it true that David Bowie got in touch with Nick Pegg after he'd written that book to thank him? Yeah. Because there were gaps. Yeah. Yeah. Nick Pegg, right, two years, three years, he, was, he wrote this book. He's an amazing writer. Have you seen the book, how big it is? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's this thick. It's unbelievable. It's everything Bowie ever did in his entire life, practically. And Including work with me. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, you're in there. You're in there. <laughs> that's the biggest and most famous chap. So you were Bowie whore as well? Absolutely, I did a bed scene with him. Fantastic. <laughs> she does everybody. <laughs> you need your own invention. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Um, but yes, no, that's right. Barry contacted him to say.